Hello, I'm Larry Fryer, and welcome to Fortville Feeders. Fortville Feeders is the premier parts handling and feeding system in North America. Fortville Feeders was launched by Michael Krause in 1979, and he started this business in his own garage. We now operate in a 60,000 square foot facility dedicated strictly to parts feeding excellence. Our engineers are expert designers who combine years of parts handling knowledge with the latest technologies. Our toolers are very high skilled craftsmen specializing in parts feeding systems. We have our own in-house machining and milling capabilities including CNC milling, EDM drilling, and water jet direct to print cutting. Here at Fort Real Feeders, along with our engineered solution, we have the reputation of feeding very high risk parts at high speeds, and we also feed very large parts. We also get the reputation for high speed applications. This application here is for Nestle. We're feeding parts at 1100 parts per minute. Um, this is an FDA application. You can see it's all 316 stainless. Even the counterweights are stainless steel. 1100 parts per minute for the bottled water. Uh, but very high speed applications, and um, this one is uh, 600 parts per minute. Um, I think we have 48 of these systems that we've built for the water bottles, so uh, a lot of water being manufactured for uh, distribution. This feed system is a 316 stainless steel bowl. It uh, has been electropolished. We also do various forms of passivation for FDA type applications. Uh, the next example, uh, accessory-wise, is just uh, various uh, coatings for the bowl. This is a, a brush line coating. It's kind of a 3M uh, indoor-outdoor carpet for parts that can't be marred or marked uh, for very light parts. Um, and it's also used for sound deadening. There's also some neoprene coatings that we, uh, that we adhere to the bowl that helps in sound deadening and wear. And there's just thousands of different types of urethane-type coating as well. Um, this bowl shows that coating. Um, we also show some interchangeable tooling on this bowl as an accessory. Rather than have adjustable tooling for operators to have to adjust in and out and tweak and so forth, we just adhere the tooling to the bowl to where you can just bolt in this blade and remove this blade and the tooling stays with the bowl rather than possibly get it uh, misplaced if it's uh, mounted elsewhere. We also get involved with various other auxiliary type feed systems. This is a flex feed type system. This is a part that was, uh, was shrink wrapped and didn't have any real characteristics as far as being able to hold anything edge to edge. Uh, this was a pipette. It was a medical product. It was shrink wrapped and the product was dropped into bulk into a hopper and we had a various series of conveyors that conveyed the product up and brought it up a various series of cleated conveyors out to a single conveyor and then we had uh, interfaced with a robot and a vision system uh, to pick the parts that were good and place them into a box at a specific angle. Parts that didn't orient properly were recirculated back and into the bulk supply hopper and uh, in turn recirculated through the system and, and placed properly. So again, uh, different types of feed systems, flex systems um, are, are certainly part of that profile.